Welcome back folks and in this session we're going to be looking at how to use a very cool tool called the Smart Brush to make adjustments and enhance our images. A lot of the adjustments and changes we make in Photoshop Elements we apply to the whole of the photo. But using the Smart Brush tool, and it's sitting over here in the toolbar, we can actually select parts of the image and make changes to just that part of the image. Notice in the panel up below we can see two versions of this tool or brush. We have a smart brush which both selects large areas of the image and applies the change to it and we have a detail smart brush which is used for highlighting and retouching specific or very small parts or detail parts of the photo. So let's go to the smart brush to start with. Once you've selected the brush type that you're working with then you can select the adjustment that you want to apply to the photo. In this case, we're going to go to the all-purpose presets and there's a range of different presets available inside Photoshop Elements and we're going to select contrast high because what I want to do is increase the contrast of the sky that you can see here and just a little bit of that background hill. Notice as I brush over that part of the picture, the brush automatically tries to find the edges of the parts of the photo that you're trying to change. It's done really well in selecting this hill, but it's selected part of the rock formation in the foreground and it's also selected part of the ocean here as well. So we can go down and pick the subtract from selection option here or do the same up in the floating options bar that you can see at the top. Now when we brush it's actually removing the parts of the image that we brush over from the selection that's being used for the adjustment. So you can see I've been able to fine tune the selection so it's just sitting over the hill in the background and the sky. So we've made a contrast change to that part of the photo. What if we now want to come down and make some brightness changes to this part of the image at the bottom here? Well the first thing we do is go and select the detail smart brush tool. And we don't want to add to the smart brush adjustment that we've already made. We want to actually create a new smart brush adjustment. So I'm going to click on new selection and we could do that by selecting that new selection brush in the panel beneath the image as well. This time I want to go and select brighter from the options that we have available and then start to brush onto the image. You'll notice over on the right hand side that we now have two adjustment layers applied to our image. The lower one is the contrast change and the upper one is the brightness change. So I can continue to work away on the image brightening the parts of the photo that I wish by just brushing over them. Notice the detail brush doesn't use the selection method to add the changes to the image. It's more like brushing the changes on so it's a bit like working with a dodge and burning tool. Now because those changes have been made in two different adjustment layers I can come back and double click on the layer thumbnail and interactively change the strength of those adjustments. So you can see by moving the brightness slider to the right I've made the adjustments that I've painted on even stronger and more noticeable. Using the Smart Brush is a great way to apply changes to selected areas in your photo whether they're big like the sky in this case or small like the sections in the water in the foreground.